Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper. Today I'm just going to share with you how I've decided to store my nesties and dies. So, I use binders to store all my stamps and so I have kind of an upright system and I wanted to try and stick with that if I could. But I found I had tried some magnetic um, strips and things and the dies would fall away and some of the smaller dies I was a bit worried about losing pieces of them. I had already bought some of this uh, report cover it's called high clear um, it's clear plastic it's fairly solid and I bought that for some other harebrained scheme for storage that I thought I was going to use and hadn't actually used it for anything so I thought well I might as well use that rather than go and buy something else I also have already been using these Bantex there um, sheets and they're already divided into four so they're really good for smaller things I use them for my stamps as well and I already had some of these stamp and store so they're uh, quite a heavyweight plastic that you can actually store your stamps on but I'm using those along with some of this um, magnetic canvas which has got a sticky back on it there's two sheets in a pack and I bought this one at a shop called Art Riot in Australia. The other products are from just uh, like Office Works. I think I got the stamp and store just from my local crafting shop when they were having a sale. So I bought a couple of extras there, but you can buy it online as well. I use these four ring binders because I find that the two rings just don't have enough stability and especially when you're using the magnetic sheets they can get quite heavy and, and fall down and I wanted a system where I could store extra die cuts if I you know sometimes I make more than what I need or I'll cut two and only use one of them and rather than waste them I just kind of found that I was keeping bits and pieces everywhere and and it's just much easier to keep it all together so what I've done is I've just cut the clear plastic sheets. I'm not sure if you can see that. Just rounded the corners so they're not sharp using my corner chomper. And then just basically cut the magnetic sheet to fit and made a label just on my computer and stuck it down with sticky double-sided tape. And it just slides in there. And then I've got the top portion here to put the die cuts. So I've just um, done them in their company name so and then I'll, the ones I've already got the die cuts for I'll just pop them they're in the top so it's a system that's really working well for me so far and I just love that they just slip out and I haven't had any problems with losing any dies especially like say this little uh, dynamics one from my favorite things it's just got some really tiny pieces and I've, I've snapped them apart so I was a bit worried about losing some of those and just simply with my spellbinders, I've just cut and stuck it to the stamp and store sheets. And then I also have some of the um, bigger border dies too. So I just cut a whole sheet of the magnetic and then I can just move them around and lift them up. And I haven't had a problem with them falling at all. And they're just it's a system that's really working for me so I hope this has been helpful and I'd love to see what you're doing with your dies. My next project is trying to work out what to do with my ribbons so if you've got any ideas let me know. I hope you're having a great day. Find some crafty time. Bye!